actually gonna be a big mess of bedroom. Yeah. This wall to carry through, yeah. Three feet wider in this room now. That's right. We'll have a window here and a window here, and the window here is a, a large window. The weight's all up here this now. Is our see, these are all trusses. There's no weight on this wall anymore. Yeah. See? You see it move to a truss? That all the weight's being carried from that point to that point. There's no weight through the middle here anymore. The load can be transferred from outside to out point with this kind of span. The load goes here, and then we just put another cabinet right on the end here. Yeah, there's, there's going to be some up there. You take this out. I can, but the, we're, then after, where are we going to put my stove at? Outside, inside. Yeah. Oh, you want we can. We, we can take the whole thing down. Just re -des redesign the kitchen. Why don't we just do a... Uh, that's a $1,300 range plus a $500 range. We can relocate the stove on this side. Yeah. We, got, we got the, the space between the corner, the stove, and the kitchen. Yeah. Just take the refrigerator on the right. That's fine. It's starting to look like a house again. After we went through all that demo, 20, 40 yard dumpster we talk about that, that we uh, used out of here. You know, getting everything back into a house that we wanted to build. So those plans and permits that we had submitted to the city, now we're, or to the county, now we're actually building what we had to do. Our brand new trusses are already going into the house. The lumber's being delivered today for the uh, sheeting. We get all the roof sheeting on today and be able to get some shade out here. It's been hot out here in San Diego this whole last week, so these guys have been dying out here. The wall still needs to go in to divide the uh, master bedroom and the dining area right here, but you can see now, what's happening? We got the brand new subfloor in down here, so now we're all gonna be one consistent height all the way through the house, right? So we're gonna come into our new bedroom upstairs now. And you remember before, this bedroom used to be real skinny. It was like, you know, 12, 14 foot long, but only like seven foot wide. So we actually added three feet to this. We pushed this whole wall out right here. So we're actually standing into an area where it's cantilevering over. So right here, this used to be the edge of the house before. The wall used to come across here. Now we've added about three feet to this bedroom. You know, massive progress here in just in the last week now that we're moving forward and have, you know, being submitting those plans to the building department, the, the county, you know, now we're at the point where we're ready to get this house closed up and start getting all those inspections that we, we wanted to get. Uh, the permitting process just takes time, especially when you're doing a house of this magnitude. There's a lot of different steps that have to go into it. So one, we have to draw up the blueprints. We have to submit a new plan that we want to do. Uh, we had to upgrade the plumbing in this house here. So the plumbing's not going out to the back this way now. The plumbing's actually going to come directly down to the bottom of the property and then go out to the street now. The little things like that where we had to re-engineer or re uh, rework the way the house was laid out or the property was laid out originally. And then again, bring everything up to code and, and we had to be engineering, you know, brand new trusses on here. So these trusses had to be engineered. We had to have those guys do their work. So little things like that where everybody that touches the project and has a, a part into a contribution of, of making it happen it takes a little bit of time for all those things to, to happen like that and then we had a couple corrections you know all along the way with the building department so we had to do you know just do some corrections and the resubmittals but all now it's been a, a pretty smooth process and now we're at the point where you know we're, we're getting this house built and making it look like a house again uh, Jamie asked me why I had to take all the walls down I didn't have to necessarily but once we got to the point where what we wanted to do with the house we decided that it's the easiest thing to do is to take the walls down because we want to make this big open feel we want to have this uh, more bigger house and we're going through the process of already doing it we want to do it make sure we do it right and what we want from, you know from the outset so it's just getting down to a nice clean slate it's much easier sometimes than just working with this or what's already existing so you know just kind of scrapping it and getting everything brand new it's it's a lot easier to do sometimes